I tell you what, I weren't expecting that at all. Chelsea 4, Crystal Palace 1. What a win that was. What a way to bounce back. Um, honestly, like, um, I just, I don't know, it's, that was just incredible. What, what a way to, to bounce back after such a dreadful performance last weekend. Um, you know, obviously we all know it was such a terrible, horrible game last week. And it seems to be that there was a little blip. That was a blip, an off day at the office. And then we've come back emphatically today and we've scored for the first time over two goals under Thomas Tuchel or over three or something. Like, that's our best win under Thomas Tuchel. Um, in Crystal Palace, as much as they're not the best team, they're not no pushovers. And today we, we pushed them over. <laughs> um, starting the first half, of course, the lineup I was quite happy with. Um, I'm still... I, 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 I'm always sceptical about Jorginho and Kovacic trying to start together, but they proved me wrong today, and Jorginho absolutely bossed it. Somehow, he had a good game today and played less minutes than his terrible game against West Brom. That, that doesn't really make much sense to me, but he proved me wrong today. Kovacic proved me wrong today, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy for Chelsea players to prove me wrong. Uh, um, so that was that was decent. I'm happy to see Chilwell. I quite like when Chilwell plays. Hudson Adore is quite happy to see him play. Didn't have the best of games. Well, no, sorry, that that's probably harsh. He had a good game uh, down that right side, but um, I think defensively, I think if he's playing wing back defensively, he just hasn't got it. He's better. I'd prefer to see Hudson Adore where Pulisic, where Mount plays, more like just behind the striker, um, just because I don't think defensively, defensively, he's got it um, quite there, um, and he has. You have to have that part of the game playing in that position but no and then Kai Havertz where the fuck have you been mate <laughs> where you been that was incredible um what a game he had like after his first early goal he was a new man he was brilliant the touch if he, if he had scored that other goal where he's touched over the Crystal Palace's player head and smacked it like that would have been so good and he had the confidence to do that and it just goes to show that all it is is confidence it, Give him confidence, get him a goal, get him a couple of goals. He'll play like the player we want him to do, be. So um, yeah, he was emphatic. Uh, Pulisic today, you know, we know Pulisic for the runs that he makes. He wasn't there today. Today he was just scoring, like not tappings, but hit the ball was he was arriving in the box and scoring. And I'm happy to see him do that. Like that was brilliant for him today. So him and, and him and Havertz five stars. Um, and then, of course, Mason Mount first. My light flickering. My light's flickering, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Mason Mount, man of the match uh, from, from Sky today. He was brilliant again. I mean, that's a given now, isn't it? He's always good. He's our best player. Like, uh, a lot of calls for him to be captain. I think for sure he should be the captain after Asby, because I think Asby's got maybe a year or two left. Um, he's still solid, he's just not at the top of his game. But I think if you promote Mount to vice captain, so then when Asby steps down, Mount goes in. I know he's young, but he has all the qualities that you need for him to be captain. So get him vice, give him the armband when Asby retires or, or leaves Chelsea, whatever that may be. I think that's very fair. Because again, today he was brilliant. Um, and you could see he was hungry for goals, he was taking shots. And you know we've all we've all said that you know something Mason needs is more goals in his game, and he's hungry for that, and he knows, and you can see that he wants to improve his game, and that's all you want from a footballer, surely. Um, so that that's those bases covered. Other than that, um, defense didn't have to do much, so you can't criticize too much. I mean, the goal was a typical Benteke goal, where you can't. There's not much you can say. They whipped a beautiful ball in and he got his head on it. It was good. It was, we probably could have done better, but it's one of them, and it? It's one of them. So, so what? Um, a clean sheet would have been nice for Mendy, but but oh well. Um, and overall, just a top, top performance. And that then sets up us nicely for the Porto game midweek. And it's all everything's rosy again. Back in the top four as well. That was important. After Liverpool's win today and our loss last week, it was important and all eyes on West Ham Leicester tomorrow. See what happens there. But that's it. That's it from me. That's my reaction to this game. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate uh, people that watch these videos. Uh, we did a, a preview last night, a podcast 
for some uh, the games tomorrow, so make sure you check that out. Uh, I'll be doing a Porto Chelsea preview as well uh, for Monday night because that will be another big game. And of course, like the video, comment what you think. Tell your dads to subscribe to the channel. Cheers.